why don't you tell the story about what happened in Atlanta? Um, basically, uh, uh, a, an, an intoxicated off-duty police officer was harassing someone. A black kid. A black kid. Pac said something to him. Uh, Pac was in the car with the homies, like two cars, and um, they chose to come to the car and engage, and Pac wasn't the type of dude to back down, and uh, they broke they broke the uh, they broke the passenger window, I think. The cop broke the passenger window, and um, they got shot in the ass. They ran, they ran and got shot in the ass. And uh, what, did, did they shoot a Tupac at all? Uh, they had a gun. They had a gun. They were waving it. Okay. They was drunk. I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> right. Um, and and at the time when they broke the window, it was hard to tell where they were shooting, or or it was just a, you know breaking and busting the window. Okay, so so Tupac pulled out. He shot both of them, um, or one of them. One of them, I believe. Okay, and now I heard that this was somewhat of a changing point because up until that point, a black man shooting two white cops in the South and getting away with it was unheard of. It just never happened. And Tupac actually fought the case and ended up winning. Yep. I mean, sometimes when you fight for what's right, sometimes the outcome is is what you want. It's not always, but they had a stolen weapon from an evidence room. Oh, (laughs) I didn't know that. Running around Atlanta drunk, fucking with people. (laughs) Get what you get. That's, so that's how he won the case. He, he proved yeah. that they were drunk, the weapon was stolen, <laughs> just the whole, the yeah. typical dirty cop shit. Yeah, yeah, and people act like, like oh, you're just exaggerating. Oh, you guys, yo, you guys just exaggerating. You know, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Y'all know, you know what I mean? It, it's like, like what I said earlier, you know, we in the thug life, we be knowing the truth, you know? The law enforcement who, 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 you know, leads the narrative, when they're lying, wh- what are you left with? Yeah. Who's gonna believe you? You know what I mean? You don't get the benefit of that. We don't get the benefit of that, especially like this. Shit. How many years was Pac facing had he gotten convicted for that? <sighs> I, I, I don't know, a lot. A lot. <laughs> a, a, a lot. Uh, double know. digits. Yeah, man, man, but God don't like ugly. You know, because a lot of people talk about a lot of people talk about the revolutionary shit. You know, but when it comes down to it, they Are back you away. Are you about it? About it? Yeah, yeah. They back away. Yeah. And Pac, in this particular case, literally pulled out a gun and was really as about it. As the legend goes, as the legend goes, as the legend goes. Mm-hmm. I Facetime him. Facetime me. You know what I'm saying? We talked it out. Hold a grudge. I had a grudge. He had a grudge. You know what I'm saying we killed to put it in the middle of the flow. You know I'm saying it's over with now. So we working. Bow wow. Do I have to go through this? I'm gonna plead the fifth. See, here's what happens. You have to understand. This is like player failure. Player failure is when you call out people and then other people get afraid you might call them out. 